A beautiful lake situated at 4900 meters and the landscape sort of speaks for itself. This one is close to the Le Manali Highway near this place called Patsio. Let's get started. Good morning everyone. So this is June 11th, uh, 6.46 am. We are starting this hike from this point which is between uh, Patsio and Zing Zing Bar. So if you have been on Manali Le Highway you would know these two points. Uh, last night we stayed at Darcha. Uh, from Darcha this uh, point from where the trek starts is just a 30 to 40 minutes of drive. So we have parked our vehicles and now we have started hiking. And we are now figuring out to cross our first water stream. Now this is our next crossing, it's the Kakti Nala and the water is extremely cold guys, extremely cold. Ah. Yeah. Easy does it. <laughs> This is our uh, first sort of a snow bridge here. You have to be very careful when you cross these sections. <laughs> so you see, uh, this is the Kakti Nala, but then uh, we have this sort of a snow bridge on top of it, on which I'm standing now. Nicely crossed. We never lose a chance to run. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, so we are crossing uh, one snow bridge after the other. Now when we cannot walk very close to the river, you hike up a bit. But then be careful on these slopes as they are steep and the stones are loose. And this hike is like a hike in the riverbed, but it is indeed very pretty. There is a last uh, 800 meter climb to the lake. Uh, that one is actually west facing so hope that the snow would be soft another uh, tricky section So in the first two hours we have uh, covered some 5.3 kilometers. We are at 4000 meters now, 300 meter up, 40 meter down. Time is almost 9 a.m. Yeah. And now you see the side sort of a gully. This is our approach for the lake. Another 800 meters up. So this is basically one of the electrolytes that uh, both me and Sachin carry and we have been uh, consuming it since almost seven to eight months now because now what we need to do is climb up so that's when you need energy and the electrolyte actually really helps and in the frame you see the beautiful peak of Dartse this is the one at the base of which Darcha is so pretty. Uh, touch 4300 meters almost. 
we have to go another 700 meter up in uh, some 2.5 to 3 kilometers so see these are some steep drops that you will miss on contours so make sure that you have a strong navigation skill so that you can nicely cross these landscapes such beautiful formations all thanks to sun keeping the temperature adequate and the wind forcing the landscape to turn into these amazing amazing relief features Lay. Yeah. 11 a.m. We have reached uh, 4,800 plus meters, and as for the contours, the lake should be right behind this moraine, basically at the base of this big mountain that you see almost almost 4900 meters all you hear is the wind at times this is so so nice yeah time for the lake to reveal itself another one done guys nice and easy yeah so these are the statistics 4 hours 30 minutes almost 1100 meter gain the lake is at 4900 meters and a total distance of 9 kilometers here it is big enough and with beautiful beautiful landscape all around The time is 11.15 a.m. All I need to do is just wait for my friends, eat something and then we head back. <laughs> wow! <laughs> That's a year. So let's check how frozen the lake is. So though you feel that this is all water, this actually is a very thin layer of ice which is here. Voila! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so after spending almost an hour at the lake, we make our move at 12.30 uh, pm. Final goodbye. It was such a beautiful place to be at. Really happy with the shoe. Super quick dry and uh, felt nice and warm gave good grip overall Again, uh, walking over the frozen Kakti Nala. This is so much fun.
टाइम इज वन ट्वेंटी एंड वी आर ट्रेसिंग आर वे बैक सम गुड सिक्स हंड्रेड मीटर डाउन ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड मीटर अप विच मीन्स अनदर सिक्स हंड्रेड मीटर डाउन सिक्स एंड हाफ आवर्स एज ऑफ नाउ कंप्लीटेड अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ अराउंड इलेवन किलोमीटर्स ब्यूटिफुल डे एंड दिस होल ट्रेल इज फिल्ड विद एक्चुअली सम ब्यूटिफुल स्टोन्स एंड रॉक्स all along so we are now not following the river we took the trail which is little up some 300 meters up from the base of the river and we are trying to connect it through the meadows let's see if we can do the circuit so if you think that in the month of september or july august during monsoon the flow of the river would be high you can actually take this route so all of a sudden now we are on a big big path Again, we are at the point where we have to cross the river, the Kakti Nala, and also the Bhaga River to reach to the place where we had parked our bikes. we are done with all the crossings we are very happy <laughs> must do this trek once in a lifetime opportunity but <laughs> not afraid of river crossing it's a best trek for you that's the only thing i guess <laughs> so we are back at our bikes and uh, it was a good 9 hours 18 kilometers this is all i had uh, from this beautiful glacial lake that we have finally named as kakti tal now guys it was quite difficult to document this one because the whole landscape was pretty wide and open and it was super windy but still i have definitely mapped the trail and it will quickly reflect on all the offline navigation applications whichever application uh, you'd use further if you ever have to do any basic trail analysis then i would suggest you to head on to waymark trails all you have to do is reach out to this platform this is like a repository of all the marked trails which are there in india and even in the world on the bottom left hand corner you will see a search bar you write the name of the trek for example for this trek we can write the keyword kakti in the drop down menu you see that there are few options you click on the elevation profile that's where you can see at what elevation this uh, trek starts further you can also click on show on map so that you know that where this trail is actually located on the map So after doing this basic analysis you can also download the GPX file and then you can use it for hiking otherwise uh, anyhow this trail will appear on open street map now there are hundreds of lakes in lahol itself guys which still need to be hiked and documented so what i'm trying to do is i've created a playlist on this channel which i've named as great lakes of lahol and then i'm adding one episode after the other whatever lake which is there in lahol i'll document it i'll put the trail so that everybody else can go to these lakes and i'm also trying to put relevant names to these lakes which relate to the landscape and then you can find all these lakes in the playlist uh, last but not the least if you're an individual who is interested to learn this art or skill of speed hiking then i've also created a week long field course which covers every single aspect that is important to become an independent hiker in the longer run now i've created a web page which contains the details of this ultimate speed hiking course and i've dropped the link to that web page in the video description below the overall aim of this course is to put efforts into building and helping the independent hiking community to grow in india so this is all i had for today thank you so much for all your time Keep hiking guys keep inspiring and I'll see you in the next one